Hey guys, what is up? It is Ask Gaming Art here, and today I have an MW3 commentary. Today's topic being why it is really hard to get noticed on YouTube, and my own personal opinions about this. So let's just get the basics basics out of the way here. This is a kill confirmed game on Resistance. I'm going to be using the ACR 6.8 assault rifle with a specialist, uh, you know, specialist package. Trying to go for a mob, didn't get it, but I still got a decent score. Anyway, let's get into the commentary here. So YouTube gaming became big around 2007 to 2009 when a lot of uh, a lot of views were being put into these gaming videos, and the people who were making these videos were people such as uh, you know really big commentators today, such as Extras, you know White Boy, Seven Street Blues, Fos, you know Yogg's Cast, Husky, Starcraft, C Nanners, uh, Hutch, all these big guys that I'm sure you've heard of. <laughs> These guys are really big because they posted early. Now that's the key word here. Early meant success on YouTube. If you posted early, if you're an account and you were posting videos in 2006 and 2007, gaming videos, well, there's a really big chance that you were going to get really, uh, you know, uh, huge. Now, in 2010 to 2011, a lot of people decided that they wanted, uh, they wanted a job such as Hutch's job or Cnander's job, in which you know, they wanted to work at Machinima, post videos, and get a pretty large, uh, you know, uh, sum of money out of it. Because I'm pretty sure that these guys do make quite a bit of money. However, this, this led to a lot of problems because there were so many accounts created during this period, you know, uh, late 2010 to early 2011, and even up till now, so many gaming accounts are being created that a person doing commentary over a game no longer has as much value as it did back in the old days in 2007 to 2009 because there are just so many there's such a large number of people that are posting these videos this led to this whole channel commenting phenomenon in the late 2011 to uh, you know now as I said before 2012 which is pretty much tons of these channels which are producing these gaming videos commenting meaningless comments on uh, other people's channels in hopes of getting well number one more channel views and then obviously a featured video that would get a, a multiple many views as well with all the people visiting their channel because the amount of traffic they get is ever increasing due to these meaningless comments now what I mean by meaningless comments are I'm sure you've seen this if you go on any underrated not even underrated but just not even known commentator not only not only for call of duty but i'm sure there are for other games uh, people who post other content as well not only call of duty but gfx uh designers editors a lot of these people are doing uh this whole commenting thing in where a heart and where this whole heart thing is put up and then username and a heart so i'm sure you've seen this now this this it's not the worst thing this is not really that much of a problem except for one thing which is that these these comments mean nothing now you're posting on people's channel on someone's channel and putting you know a youth their username and a heart which generally would mean that you legitimately enjoy their content however now when I see a heart on my channel personally I don't even I don't even look at the other other person who posted it because that person is clearly not actually checking out my content and does not actually appreciate it as back in the old days, if you'd seen a heart on a channel and a username, not that you would, but if there was a comment like that, you would know that the person actually kind of genuinely liked their comment because it was a lot easier to get known. So it was there was not this whole struggle. Now that's a good that's a good word to describe this, a struggle of just wanting to get known. This this feeling inside that you you will not stop. You just really want to get known. Now, although a lot, I know, I, I know a lot of accounts are actually uh, quitting. A lot of people are actually quitting YouTube because it is almost to that point where it is physically impossible to get known, to get a thousand subscribers, to get you know ten thousand subscribers, hundred thousand partnerships. These things are not as easy as they might have been before. And I'm not saying it was easy before, but it was it, it was a lot easier than it is now. Just because of the sheer amount of people that are on, you know, that are on YouTube, <laughs> YouTube is an ever-growing website, a uh, video hosting website. 
it is in the top five most visited websites every day and the reason for this is because people people want to view commentators that are already known and not only commentators but vloggers and uh, musicians etc etc because these people ha have already built up such a big fan base and that's why a lot of people visit YouTube because they want to see these people's channels and these people's content alone now what happens when this new person comes along whose content is you know very good as well maybe even as good as the specific commentator vlogger cover artist etc but this person like now does not have a chance now tons of comments can be posted um saying you know there's always i'm sure you've seen a comment saying like i am a certain year old artist that really wants to get known but it's really hard and i would appreciate it if you would come check out my channel something along the lines of that now that, that that's good i mean you will get subscribers now i've seen cover artists and other channels come literally from zero to a thousand subscribers just based off one song they did they, they got a lot of hype it was featured on youtube's you know um from youtube maybe youtube top trending etc etc and that does bring traffic to your channel but the chance of that happening is very slim because first of all for youtube to recognize you and put you on your homepage, the content that you produced has to be outstanding now mostly on the youtube homepage, you'll find uh, you know, home homemade videos sometimes a lot of the times it's new vivo songs as I've seen um, posted by big artists such as Rihanna um, Nicki Minaj etc whenever they post a new song and it goes on their vivo channel of course it's always it's gonna be featured on the top uh, on YouTube trending etc because well it's gonna be it's gonna be trending and it's gonna be it's gonna get a lot of traffic because those are known artists now would you see a normal cover artist on the YouTube homepage very rarely or and the chance of you seeing a gamer well no that's pretty much slim because YouTube does not really you know want want to put a gamer on the front page I'm sure it makes sense cover artist is different because it's you know you actually see the person's face now that's one thing and the content generally is more appreciated I guess you could say but don't get me wrong, gamers do get on the on the home page, but not small gamers. Big gamers, I've seen tons of Yogg's cast videos on the home page. Um, Nova's videos have been featured, you know, White Boys as well. I'm sure a lot of the big commentators' videos have been featured. Criticals, I know, definitely. But that's those as you know, as I said before, these are big commentators. So this is what kind of has you know it's come down to pretty much you you won't really get big unless someone big himself kind of gives you a shout out or boxes you or you know tells people to go check out your channel in his recent activity or something along the lines of that these things don't come free unless you actually legitimately know the person and he's like a friend in your real life then I'm sure he'll give you one for free if he charges you he's not that good of a friend <laughs> but it's pretty much now the option of paying money to get big and of course these big commentators did not have to do that they didn't have to pay money to get big they just got big because they well they started posting early as I said previously now I fear this commentary this commentary is taking a wrong turn right here it's getting somewhat negative and somewhat dark kinda like I'm blaming someone like blaming these commentators which I'm not I'm telling you I I listen to these commentators a lot as well because because they're big because number one, their content is great. I mean, they wouldn't be big if their content was good. Just because you're posting early, but your content is bad, doesn't mean you'll get big. I mean, your content has to be good as well. I watch their content, and I do enjoy it. I, I really do enjoy some big commentators. Uh, I also enjoy small commentators' content as well, such as my good friend JR Gaming, who is actually in this game as well, in this game with me. And yeah, I just want to leave the note. I mean, this, this is coming to an end right here. I just want to leave off with... Together to together to the top, guys. Let's not have any venom towards each other. Let's not dislike each other's videos just to sort of give them a reason to hate us. I mean, not to hate us, sorry, to um, you know, stop posting so that we can have less of a rivalry, less competition. How about let's all just help each other just get to the top. We can, you know, we can do this, I'm sure. Anyone. 
anyone can get good, I mean, can get big, not big, big, but somewhat big on YouTube. If, number one, the content is good, and two, we help each other, because that's what small commentators and small channels have to do to each other. Now, we have to help each other rise slowly, subscriber by subscriber, view by view, like by like, favorite by favorite. Just keep on doing these things, and, you know, we will get to the top, I'm sure. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please drop a like. And be sure to check out my next commentary, which is going to be about maybe a high school story or something that uh, like I like doing. Like my previous commentary about the my top five games as well, my, as well as my favorite game. Something along the lines of that. Maybe just like a real life commentary. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a good one.